The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi, good evening everyone, or good afternoon. My name is Andrea Hickson. I work with Outback Power. I'm a product specialist here. And today I'm going to discuss with you Outback's new Flexware Integrated Combiner Solution, or ICS. Um, before we get started, I'm going to ask that you please feel free to type your questions whenever um, you know something pops up. Uh, I won't get to those until the very end. Um, and this is the second time I think I've gone through this presentation, and um, it usually does not last the whole hour unless there are a lot of questions. So um, we'll probably be under a half hour. Um, there we go. Okay, so today I'm going to um, kind of the agenda, talk about market position with these new products, the features, and logistics. Um, so first I'm going to go over marketing, marketing positioning. Um, so this may be a review for many of you. What's a combiner box and why is it needed? A uh, combiner box really has two main functions, at least a DC PV combiner box. Um, one, to combine all of the PV source circuits um, in a PV array, so all of the uh, series strings, and two, to hold overcurrent protection devices, or OCPDs. Uh, overcurrent protection devices can include circuit breakers um, and also, also fuse holders and fuses. Um, you can see kind of a little diagram. Combiner boxes are usually on the roof, though they can be um, pole mounted or you know mounted to, to a ground mount racking. Um, they're also going to be on the side of a building. Um, so yeah, when are overcurrent protection devices needed? Um, overcurrent protection devices protect the conductor and really the equipment from high levels of current in case of a fault or a short. Um, so you can see we have a simple diagram here that shows. Um, you know, a small load of a uh, light bulb connected up to a battery bank. Um, and here we have a, we, we show overcurrent protection um, on the positive end. And really what this is protecting, is protecting um, the circuit in case there's a short across the two battery terminals. Um, so if there was a short, um, the conductor cannot handle that much current, and this could cause a fire. Um, so in this case, this, this uh, overcurrent protection device is protecting that $2 light bulb. Um, in the case with the PV module, you're protecting, you know, um, an or an entire array, you're protecting a lot more expensive equipment. Um, in systems where there are um, one or two strings of uh, PV modules, you actually may not require to have overcurrent protection per string. Um, you can kind of see in Outback systems, we have a charge controller between the battery bank and the PV module. Um, the Overcurrent protection between the charge controller and the battery bank could actually be sized to meet the overcurrent protection requirement from the PV modules. Um, so in, in simple, in smaller systems that have one or two strings, your overcurrent protection uh, on your charge controller battery side can actually meet the overcurrent protection needs uh, on the PV array side. In systems where there are uh, usually three or more PV, you know, parallel PV strings. Um, you really do need overcurrent protection on each PV string um, because you can see backfeed current coming from parallel strings and also you can keep see backfeed current coming from uh, the, char the battery bank up through the charge controller. So there's a lot of potential backfeed current um, and that's why there's a requirement for uh, overcurrent protection per each PV string. Um, you could see if, if we didn't have that and there was backfeed current, that can cause a lot of current going on to you know, a conductor that can't handle that much current, could cause a fire. Um, so really combiner boxes are a safety requirement. Um, they, <coughs> they're protecting um, an expensive investment, especially if it's in a, in a battery-based system. And usually PV systems are on a, person, one of a person's most expensive investment, their house. So, I'm really, you know, we're promoting the use of combiner boxes in all of our systems. So now I'm going to go into what our products are, our, our new product offering, and where they fit with our current products. So um, right now, our Outback has always offered, or has offered, a 12 and an 8 string combiner box. Um, so we have our FX, FWPV8 and our FWPV12. Um, the FWPV12, that's on the, the far right, um, that's really, we see use with two of our PV arrays, or two PV arrays with two of our charge controllers. Um, they're not integrate, it's not integrated, but allows for flexibility, so, you know, an installer can integrate how they wish. Um, the FWPV8 allows for eight PV source circuits, um, 
we usually see this used with one of our um, charge controllers or sometimes with two of our FM60 charge controllers. Um, what we're introducing today are um, you know, a new combiner box line that allows for between four and six strings. Um, and it's pre-integrated, pre-wired, ready to go for um, either grid tight and battery based systems. I'll go into that in a little bit. Really a, a pre-integrated solution that's really better sized to work with our charge controllers. So a lot of feedback we've had with our um, current offering was that they were a little bit too large for use with our charge controllers. The sweet spot for our FM80 or 80 amp charge controllers is six strings and the sweet spot for our FM60 charge controller or 60 amp charge controller is four strings. So what we're bringing to market, um, we have three new combiner boxes. Um, they're all actually the same chassis or same enclosure. They're just integrated a little bit differently. The first one, the FWPV6-FH600, this is a six string combiner box that's integrated with six DIN rail fuse holders, um, six uh, distribution blocks, I'll go into that in a little bit, um, and cable glands for st strain relief. Um, the FWPV4-FH600, this is a four string combiner that's integrated with four fuse holders, um, distribution blocks, and strain relief. And the FWPV6, um, that's a combiner box that's not integrated with any fuse holders, but uh, does have strain relief and does have distribution blocks. Uh, we are also introducing some new accessories, some, a couple of, or two boxes of fuses, so either a box of 10 15 amp fuses or a box of 10 20 amp fuses a new fuse holder, and a cable gland for strain relief. Um, so, you know, why are we integrating with fuses or fuse holders um, versus breakers? And um, fuses provide bi-directional overcurrent protection. So um, they protect from not only current coming from the PVRA, but also backfeed current coming up from the battery bank or parallel strings. Um, they can meet both battery base and grid direct PV needs. Uh, fuse Fuses are rated for up to 600 volts DC, so kind of streamlines inventory has a one solution for both grid tied systems and battery based, um, and they're cost effective. They're used in the majority of grid direct PV systems, so um, you know the high demand has really driven costs down. I'm gonna pop this guy. Okay. Um, so our drivers behind these new combiner boxes. So uh, Outback really wants to, you know, it's our new balance of system solution just designed to save installers time and money in the field. So we really wanted to just have a ready to go solution. Um, all you have to do is, you know, bring in your PV wires and have your out output um, and then populate with fuses. Um, so again, pre-integrated and pre-wired for quick and easy installation. Uh, all in one solution includes the fuse holders, cable glands, distribution blocks, and some pre-wiring. I'll go into that a little bit. They're better sized to work with Outback Power's offering, so better sized to work with our charge controllers, our FM80, our FM60, and our Extreme. Um, they're both UL1741 and CE listed to meet requirements both domestically and internationally, and they're really competitively priced um, and competitive in features, which I'll go into next. So products and features. Um, so again, some of the main features, uh, the, the new combiner boxes are powder-coated aluminum, chassis, uh, all NEMA 3 are rated, similar to our FWPV 12 and 8s. Uh, all stainless steel hardware inside. Mm -hmm. Allows for vertical mounting, pole mounting, um, or sloped roof mounting up to 14 degrees incline. Uh, the low profile design allows for flexible mounting options, so they can be used with U-bolt, Unistrut, or any unique kind of mounting um, structures out, or I guess mounting capabilities out there. A uh, padlockable lid that can be completely removed um, for ease of installation, so really easy to work in, to look in. Uh, touch safe internal distribution blocks. So these guys, with our FWPV8s and our FWPV12s, we had uh, terminal bus bars for both the positive and the negative. We replaced these with touch safe distribution blocks. So we're, uh, there's actually not a need for a dead front with our new um, ICS product, so we took that out. Um, and then pre-integrated with uh, fuse holders and strain relief cable glands. So kind of a quick look inside, uh, the FWPV6 again does not come with any fuse holders, it's kind of our flexible option. So it has DIN rail, uh, distribution blocks, that's replacing the, term the positive and negative terminal bus bars. Um, we do have our grounding terminal bus bar, you can kind of see mo the mounting knockouts in the back, there are three holes in the bottom, three holes on the top. Uh, cable gland for strain relief. This guy comes with a, uh, I think a cable gland that 
allows up to four PV source circuits, um, but we'll, we're also offering the an additional cable going for anything for you know up to six PV source circuits, and then conduit knockout uh, inch and a half. So we have two two conduit conduit knockouts on the side there. Our FWPV4 FH600 comes pre integrated with four fuse holders. Uh, and you can see we have, so we have pre-wiring from the fuse holder to our positive terminal, or sorry, our positive distribution block. Um, so that's really where the pre-wiring comes in. Um, the ca again, cable gland for strain relief, all really the same, similar features. It's the same chassis. <coughs> and then our FWPV6 slash FH600 uh, comes integrated with the uh, with six fuse holders, so big difference. And then it also has an additional cable gland, so it allows for up to six PV source circuits. So again, kind of positioning, Outback wants to continue to provide an end-to-end -end solution um, to ensure reliability and quality. So you know, from everything past the PV array on, up on the roof, you know, combiner box, down to the battery bank and including the battery bank. We, Outback really wants to be a one-stop shop for installers. Uh, we're pre-configured and pre-integrating the solution to you know, save some labor time in the field. A lot of feedback we've had from installers is anything we can do to have ready-to-go solutions or you know, pre-integrate solutions is really helpful. Um, and then you know, competitive in both features and price. So now I'll go over some logistics. Um, this is our kind of key feature competitive matrix and kind of where we win. So you can see I have Outback on the left here and then a lot of our main competitors on the right. Um, and then on the very, kind of the row headers, we have the features and the benefits, so I'll go through those. Um, so feature, you know, the first one is just how many PV strings they can take, or PV string inputs each combiner box can take. Um, so, you know, we have a four and a six string offering. Those are our two new offerings. In addition to our eight and 12 string, our, our FWPV8 and our FWPV12. Fuse holders are pre-integrated in, so, Ready to go solution, um, also integrated with the strain relief cable glands. Uh, the chassis is aluminum powder coated, and really what we see is that's you know durable material, long lasting, um, and it's light. So three kind of benefits from those. Uh, touch safe distribution blocks, so reduces you know voltage, the risk of um, you know voltage shock. Output wires. Up, you know, size for up to two watts, so it supports longer distance run. Um, Pre-wired, so that's pre-wiring from the uh, fuse holders to the distribution blocks, and then UL and CE certified. So both, you know, trying to have a market or a product that's relevant here and rest of the world. Um, so launch materials in, are all up on our website. That includes a, a quick start guide. We don't have a big thick manual for this guide. It's a pretty simple product. Um, we have our spec sheets up on, or spec sheet up on the website. Um, you may have seen some advertisements with these guys, uh, and I think we've had a couple of press releases. So that's kind of a, a quick overview of our um, new, you know, ICS combiner boxes. Um, kind of what's next, and I'm not going to go into this too much because we're still in the development phase. But is our ICS Plus solution? Um, so this is really going to be a compliant solution for the 2000, per the 2014 National Electric Code. Um, so it's going to include um, you know, DC arc fault protection per 690.11, um, rapid shutdown of PV systems on buildings per 690.12, and DC, a DC combiner disconnect, which is a requirement for combiner boxes um, per the 2014 NEC up on move. So that's 690.15C. This um, we will be showing at InterSolar this year. Um, and releasing later this summer. So, um, yeah, so that was again a kind of a, a quick overview.